New update, Pink Sauce Zach. Yo, stop. That's... You keep gifting subs, dude. Why is you doing that so much, bro? I appreciate you, man. For real. I appreciate you, bro. Uh, Pink Sauce just officially failed. I thought she been got called out and failed. She's still going? Dude, how many total subs is that, Zach? Yo, thank you so much, man. Please watch Null Lore. Is Null really like that? Bro? I feel like... Yo. Uh, I feel like they're all, bro. If they're in the movie, they're gonna be like that. They're always, they always got some crazy background, cool background shit. The pink sauce ain't made. I'm not surprised anymore. A one sale this month, not one single sale. Chef P's pink sauce has officially failed. <gasps> in a series of update videos, she reveals her pitiful sales figures. They gonna send me a check for. A admitting she's clueless about the product. I don't know what's going on with the pink sauce. I don't know. Uh, well, you know what's next. Where the pink sauce at? Whilst being in denial, thinking it'll make a comeback. The pink sauce will soon be a globally distributed product. I don't know how it's gonna happen. The fact that she experienced any success now seems like a miracle, as by Chef P's second video, she was already facing problems. In its very Dynex, first showcase, thank the you sauce for the five, had a vibrant the ten, appearance. The in, 10 gifted. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted. I appreciate you, bro. In the very first showcase, the sauce had a vibrant appearance, but in the TikTok that followed, the pink was slightly different. The color has changed so much. Two days later, it was back to a darker pink, but five days after this, it was lighter than ever before, creating instant suspicion amongst potential customers. Why does it keep changing colors every video, whilst the sauce's consistency was also inconsistent? In some videos, it was thick, sticking to the food like glue, whilst in others, it was watery, dripping off any food it was put on. And a lighter the fact color. that the consistency has changed so much really concerns me. Although as shown in the very same comment, people were also incredibly curious. Why was it pink? How did she make it? Most importantly, what did the pink sauce taste like? Mm. Chef P's friends all seem to love it. This is definitely a 10 out of 10. But she yeah, well, I mean, they're your friends. Duh. He didn't describe the flavor building irresistible intrigue. Honestly, it has its own taste. If you want to taste it, buy it. It goes on sale tonight. People had gotten to the point of demanding she sell the product publicly. Well, I mean, that wasn't really a good explanation. But if you say like, yo, it, it tastes like honey mustard or something, this would be like, why wouldn't I just get honey mustard? Yeah, as Chef P had held off for ages to ensure the sauce was perfect. We are doing quality testing to ensure that we get the best quality out to you guys to have minimum to no complaints. In a different TikTok, she Yo, Mushy Man, thank you, bro. I appreciate it. an inspirational soundbite stating, the biggest thing you have to worry about is making sure your quality stays up, creating expectations that the sauce would be incredible. But as she announced her first drop of 100 limited bottles, the top comment hinted at the sauce's next problem. Is it approved by US Food and Drug Administration? Well, mm. to put it simply, no. no. In fact, Chef P didn't even understand what it was. What do you mean? FDA approved. I don't sell medical product. The pink sauce don't contribute to your health. Thinking the F in FDA stood for pharmaceutical. People are really out here buying and eating pink sauce from a woman who doesn't even know what the F in FDA stands for. To silence the backlash, she'd host a live stream titled The FDA is at my house. It is safe. Wait, what the hell is this? Hold on, chat. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know how. I don't know. Oh, God. Um, uh, Dude, I don't even. I gotta look through this later. So I just gotta offer for something, but it's like. <laughs> it's like, yo, but bro, it's like, what? Like. I don't know. We are taking the precaution. Although people found this strange. Comments read that's not how the FDA works, as the FDA don't do house calls, forcing Chef P to admit she was lying. Turns out she'd been visited by Florida Health Services. No, I did not try. I didn't try this shit. 
factors, which seemingly failed to make the product safer. The bottles had no nutritional info or list any of the ingredients, which Chef P still didn't disclose even after being asked. I can't tell you the ingredients that I used to make it pink, but it's pink. <laughs> At a different time, she even lied about ingredients, claiming it had no garlic. The pink sauce contains zero raw garlic ingredients. Although in a video of her making it, you can see raw garlic floating in the mix. People therefore stated, okay, but for real, what herbs are in the pink sauce? Because like, I'll get some, but I don't want to have an allergic reaction. Mm. No ingredients listed? Sounds like a lawsuit waiting to happen True. if someone has an allergic reaction, True. forcing Chef P to reluctantly oblige. I've been seeing all the shady comments. There will be nutrition facts. Calm down. No, you kind of literally have to tell us how you made it pink. To which Chef P responded, I don't have to do anything. Of course, my package will have nutrition facts. This was confirmed as she sent her first shipment, but the top comment predicted there'd be shipping problems. Hey, I deliver for USPS, and we kind of just shove packages into the mailbox or lock boxes. These things are probably gonna overheat and curdle or explode, which turned out to be perfectly accurate. Oh my god. Look, look at this! Oh my god. They don't even say pink sauce on this bitch! The sauces had been sent in the middle of summer, and after taking two and a half weeks to arrive, many had fully exploded. And this is, no, no ma'am, we're not trying this. Look at this. It stinks. The bottles that didn't explode were still extremely bloated. Uh. I'm just a little worried about it being swollen. I don't know if this is considered swollen or not. In which case, the pink sauce became completely rotten. Uh. It was because the product contained milk and honey, which grew so much bacteria it expanded the bottle. So no doubt by the time you receive your pink sauce, the milk is already spoiled. So you're basically just buying poison. A food safety expert stated, in some cases, raw honey can cause botulism, an extreme case of food poisoning. So it's no surprise that some people are reporting that they got violently ill after eating the pink sauce. I'm not gonna lie, like, why would y'all eat this though? Like, why would you even, why would you even eat this shit? One person claimed it sent her to hospital. Y'all really need to stop buying these pink sauce from that girl on TikTok. Look where I ended up. Explaining the pink sauce gave her real bad food poisoning. <laughs> it seems to be the oil that she put on that sauce didn't sit well on me, whilst a Reddit okay. user posted a similar story. All right. My 13-year-old daughter bought a bottle of pink sauce online without my knowledge. Uh, that's your fault. You a trash ass parent. I ain't gonna lie. You a shitty parent. I, I would be embarrassed to even post this shit. Is now in hospital. Hospital. I can't even think straight. Chef P responded by claiming that these weren't real. People. Not only did they get something, they got it delivered to your mailbox that you don't check. Like, I, I don't know. Like, that's crazy. Do you not check your bank account? Like, da 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 da. Like, that's, that's just bad parenting. People making fake reports saying that they were getting sick from the pink sauce. However, they never even made a. I can't even try to sneak my report card out the out the out my uh, shit before my mom see it. Pink sauce purchase. But with incorrectly listed ingredients, this certainly could have happened. For example, the bottle's label misspelled vinegar as vinga, which could have just as easily been a misspelling of ginger. Another person could also be a misspelling of person noticed her using a white mayo like substance which also wasn't listed she is using something that's not here to give it that particular color inconsistency but the problems with the label <laughs> only kept on going there is nothing in the label about refrigeration nor is there an expiration date on the label in addition to no expiry or refrigeration warning the bottle incorrectly stated it had 444 servings which at 14.4 grams per serving meant the bottle should have weighed 6.4 kilos or or 14 pounds. To add a cherry on top of the cake, the label didn't fit the bottle, oh my but God. surely Chef P was on standby. <laughs> this is so Nibbles ghetto. Niggas buying some Pepto-Bismol looking abomination pretending to be food and act surprised when it doesn't have safe natural ingredients. That's what I'm saying. Y'all saying, oh my God, it's pink. And then y'all see how she talked to people in the responses trying to figure out, yo, is this shit safe to eat? Why don't you just buy it and then find out? I'll have all my shit, I'll have all my shit posted. Huh? Yes or no, dude? The fix, but what does it taste? What does it taste like? Buy it and find out.
potential problems. Yeah, no, I'm good, bro. Problems. Well, instead, she was partying on a boat, blaming the customers for the product shortcomings. You guys are judging a prototype. A prototype is when a product is not an official product. However, a lawyer named allegedly Stephanie explained this wasn't even legal. You cannot have a prototype of food, ma'am. When it is food, it has to be perfect, as in at least edible, at least not making people sick. Yeah, Leading that's kind of that's kind of crazy a prototype food like bitch this ain't a this ain't a like electronic device <laughs> this is not a an electronic device or nothing bro. this is actually like you consume this like if you get a prototype for a you know a little game console and that shit's ass it's like damn well i just wasted my money if you buy prototype for food and you consume it yeah you could die to apologize my apologies i'm only human i'm not oh my god i hate the i hate and i'm only human ass nigga like dude shut up perfect and remove the source from sale until she could fix its problems in the meantime people began to joke it's all fun and games till you see her pink sauce in the store although nobody expected this would actually happen until it was announced you could buy the sauce in walmart oh my gosh she shut up all the haters Oh, shit. How the hell did this happen? I ain't gonna lie. I can't even... I can't even hate. I'm gonna wait until... I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna be like people on the internet. I'm gonna wait till her downfall, and then I'm gonna... Then I'm gonna get back on her ass, but she kinda... She kinda going crazy right now. She... Jesus! Holy shit. Fuck you look good today. <sighs> Yo. Thank you for the donation. Jesus, bro. That scared the shit out of me. That scared the shit out of me, bro. Thank you, bro. Chef P stated, I'm ready for chapter two, having partnered with a company called Dave's Gourmet, who used their expertise to ensure the product wouldn't explode. Thank you so much, Dave's Gourmet. I'm so excited about the growth and scaling of the sauce. With articles such as how the pink sauce chef survived her downfall and comments like, oh, I'm so happy for her. They were bashing her so much, it seemed Chef P had fixed her reputation. Mm. She reassured the audience, we will not let you down. Wait. So what happened? Oh no. What happened? What just happened? Oh no! Where did she get these restrictions, lol? Imagine if Heinz said we got a new blue sauce. We're not gonna say what's in it. You'll find out right? when you buy it. And also it's a prototype. And people who say it's bad are fake. I have everything. I won't post it, though. Like, bro, what? Like, no thank you, bro. You can keep that. And with the sauce in over 4,000 stores, Rolling Stone literally wrote, it's hard to see what would stop her at this point. The taste of that victory must be sweet. Although only 16 days later, people already found the bottles being taken off shelves. People have started to post videos showing that the pink sauce is going on clearance. Which, by the way, look at this color, and look at the color that the pink sauce lady showed. That is not pink. As mentioned, the color had also changed dramatically. In multiple different TikToks, the contents turned a yellowy brown in reality it's like the same color as cane sauce possibly informing another massive price drop it's funny because most of the pink sauce is on the clearance section in walmart for 50 cents oh, okay. but somehow the bottles still fell further so a video just i kind of feel bad went viral showing the pink sauce on clearance at Walmart for just 25 cents a bottle. Chef P's comments filled with people oh calling God. her a failure, yet she'd respond by stating when they say you fell off, but pink sauce just sold 200,000 bottles. People therefore thought she was doing extremely well, although it turns out the opposite was true. I almost got evicted from my home. I had to go get $20 from my mama. Pink sauce creator claims she's broke due to a faulty deal. I don't even have have enough money to buy my kids food. Oh my the God. article explained Chef P had opened a GoFundMe trying to raise a hundred thousand dollars as <laughs> right now I don't even have enough money to buy my kids food oh on my, my God, own. No. My mom is on disability and has been giving us twenty dollars just to get by on a daily basis. This was confirmed by a video showing her eviction notice claiming Dave's Gourmet had stolen her recipe and ruined the product by changing its color. Dave's Gourmet should know why the sauce turned yellow when it hit 
hit the shelves. She further added, they lied to me. They are not paying me and are not being transparent about records. I have been silenced and financially sabotaged. They are refusing to pay me the royalty that is owed to me. These people defrauded me, so I would have to sue them for fraud. Uh, although it turns out this was just another lie. <gasps> because Dave's Gourmet responded, explaining that paid her 120 grand, which Chef P had wasted on luxury spending. Oh my god, I don't feel sorry for her anymore. Oh my god, yo. Sh I was like starting to feel bad. Oh my god, fuck this bitch. Holy shit. Fuck the kids too. Okay, sorry. That's a little too much. My, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. I just, you lied. You lied, bro. And you, then you flexing with the money. And then it's just the way you've been talking to people. Like, if you want the food, how about you bu fucking buy the sauce? Yo, sorry. That karma go crazy though. That karma hit like crazy though. That further exp. 16 days is crazy and it still lasted longer than Concord Long. Oh my god, you're right. Oh my god. We gotta keep track of fail failures like this. <laughs> we gotta keep track of fail failures like this. Explained that she'd requested over $10,000 in marketing expenses to throw herself a birthday party. 10 that Like, you gotta realize, once you, if, if you get that money, if you get big money like that, you gotta spend i don't like you should be at least making that shit back if you're gonna be spending money like this like the check should can should be in consistently growing just because you get all that money don't mean you're gonna consistently get that every year you just got that for that like you run a a sauce business i don't know maybe she thought that shit was gonna go crazy to maybe be featured on TikTok. She also requested that they pay for her dress $800 and shoes $600 plus. Chef P also attempted to submit business expense reports for personal expenses, like buying four pairs of sneakers or expensing her grocery bill. See, now that's crazy. You run a sauce business, like you, you sell sauce. What do shoes got to do with the sauce? What do shoes got to do with the sauce? <laughs> See, niggas don't know how to finesse, bro. They don't know how to finesse. You can't even make that make sense. But when Dave's Gourmet would not approve these expenses, she got upset and never collaborated with them since. Chef P instead took her GoFundMe earnings and relaunched the pink sauce in a new powder format, which supposedly somehow completely sold out. People joke that she probably only had... Yeah, I was about to say, you can... You pro she probably just changed it to like... She just probably just made it like that. 10 in stock, to which Chef P angrily responded, thanks for keeping me on the algorithm with your meaningless comment. And I'm not gonna lie, also shit like this is true though. It's like, she's bothered, she is bothered, but y people who claim they don't like, like people who claim they don't like somebody and constantly comment on anything they see about the person they don't like is just as weird as the person they talking about. like. You, do you know how algorithm works? Do you know how this shit works? You claim you can't stand a nigga, yet you keep commenting on everything you see about the person. Chat, one, one of my shits went, uh, got posted on Twitter or something. It was so funny. I think this person had to be trolling though. He was like, it was, it was like something about probably Kendrick or a Kendrick reaction. Uh, they were like, I love his channel, but hate his reactions. So I'm assuming if it had to do with the Kendrick video, he had to be talking about I'm still Dante, which is a channel that has nothing, nothing but reactions on it. So you like the channel? <laughs> so like, what are you talking about? What, what do you like? <laughs> If she did only have 10 in stock, August the Duck bought 40%. Maybe he's talking about I'm Dante Gaming. No, he was, it's that channel. He said, I like it. The post was about how I turned a four minute song into like however long the, the Not Like Us reaction was. It was that. And I looked at the comments and someone said, I hate his, I love his channel, but hate his reactions. If it's, if it's specifically about my, like, if it's specifically my gaming channel, you could say that, like, I would assume if you say channel singular, you're talking about the, the you're referencing the post that is posted about, I'm still, it's like, I don't know, I'm so confused.
<laughs> there are four. He had to be. He had to be trolling. Four total sauces. Two blue sauces. Two pink sauces. Hey, Cardi is not dropping. He's not dropping. He's lying to you guys, and you guys buy it every time. You're just like you're just like this lady here. She lies to all her audience, and yet somehow her shit still gets sold out. It's because you want to see his dick. Exposing the product as extremely expensive. Each one of these packets, one single serving, twenty dollars a piece. I spent eighty fucking dollars on what you're looking at right here. He then had to spend a. If he dropped, give me a sub. Okay, I'm gonna remember this. Chat, remember this name. S G. You got like I'm like Trey. Trey. S G S Trey. If he drops within the stream, the stream, I'll gift you a sub further $70. We need four different ingredients to make this sauce. About $150 is how much I've spent for what he discovered was a terrible flavor. I'm sorry, Chef Pie, but uh, no, they're both they're both definitely gross. It, it does not taste like ranch. It tastes far worse than ranch. Likely contributing to Chef Pie's current position. Now, chat, I'm not pausing anymore. We're going to speed around the whole stream so I can get up out of here. <laughs> so I can get up out of here and I don't have to get them a sub. And, uh, literally zero sales, <laughs> as was shown in the opening clip. The pink sauce ain't made one sale this month, not one single sale. And as of just the previous week, the pink sauce website is now fully deleted. Oh. On top of this, Chef P's company Flavor Crazy was previously listed as active, but after recently checking the very same page, it now rather says inactive. She'd oh. post on her Instagram, normalize being out of the loop. Like what is even going on, LOL? Likely cause she doesn't even know where to buy the original pink sauce. I haven't seen nothing at no Walmart or no other store. And it's my business. It's my product. And I don't even know where it's at. And only that she's receiving basically zero royalties. They gonna send me a check for $121. Lord Jesus, take the wheel. $121 is too generous. But Chef P is still convinced she has a billion dollar business, ah. which is a pretty crazy value for a product that's only sold second second hand on eBay. Ooh, damn. God, Lee, man. Uh, you know, sis, sometimes it's okay to just hang it up and then, tr you know, try something new. But maybe, chat, maybe she, she changes our mind and actually, like, maybe she proves us all wrong. Come on, Haley, it's not that bad. All right, it's time to get out of the bed and quit rotting. Haley, get up. All right, I'm ready to talk. He posted the bald guy and it says at 9.30, eyes, Bro might actually have to gift that sub. Wait, what the fuck is this? Wait, 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 this is real. Wait, this is real. Why are people disliking it, bro? If you don't like it, just don't watch. So I wanted to start my podcast out here in Belfast, Tennessee, where I was born at and where I've been ever since until a few weeks ago and everything changed. No, really, I even learned that you can't bring a box cutter on a plane. <laughs> So <laughs> oh my god y'all bro i swear the formula it's that this formula is insane how do how do stupid shit like we just seen one stupid thing go go viral make it all the way to shell the to the shelves of of walmart you know how many people get shit on on a uh, shark tank <laughs> And then we got this girl selling some trash sauce, which she refuses to list the ingredients for, and her shit make it to the shelves of Walmart. Some people would die for that. And then we got someone with even less of talent who just said hock tour in an interview. She said hock tour in an interview. And all of the internet made her famous. And now she started a podcast. Be talking about all the crazy stuff that's happened since I got into this mess and the stuff that me and Chelsea like to do before all this happened. And I want you guys to get to know me better than Hawk Tuh. No, it's Tuh. Like, you really gotta put your emphasis. Here's a fun yeah. video documenting the Ark of Concord's failure. Oh God, bro. It's like, I'm not... I'm not trying to hate. It's just like... This is like... It's, this is just crazy. Look at the channel name. Talk tour with Haley Welch. I said hawk tour and now I'm here. You know what? You know what's crazy? I can't like 
you can't even be mad at her you can't be mad at her you gotta be mad at the internet you gotta be mad at the internet if it wasn't for the internet bro anybody could say anything the internet chose to push her the internet chose to push her I can't be mad. She said, fuck it. Okay. I'm going a, I'm to a take this shit for everything it's got, man. Wow. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy, bro. Coming off, off her unprecedented viral moment. And the biggest meme of all time. Haley Welch is ready to show the world that she's much more than a 30-second clip. And she's here to stay with celebrities from all walks of life across comedy music sports and pop culture looking to collaborate with the social media sensation Speaking Haley Welch continues to rise please don't get mad but I always wanted to know your thoughts on this Lil Pump song he dropped a year ago I'm it's not, heavy metal and dick you like that stuff I'm not if you don't watch I I'm not I'm, I'm not watching that I'm not watching that bro uh thank you for the donation but I'm, I'm sorry you just requested a Lil Pump song in, in 2024 bro uh, each episode of Talk To Her will feature, she's going to have celebrity, she's going to have celebrity cameo. I'm, I'm not I don't know. Don't I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't even know what to say. So we're just going to move on.